Once in a blue moon, you'll get something so special pop oh, up on market that you can't what? Oh, get it. Yeah, I'm talking about a 32 inch free monster right here, Trinitron. Guys, I'm ecstatic. It's an hour long drive, but we're on our way. Hey, here for the TV. For the TV, yeah, this is the right place, right? Yes. Cody. How you doing? Doc? That's Toby the terrorist. <laughs> okay. He's a little West Island terrorist. Let's check this uh, TV out. Okay, I'm not sure to get your fuck. Yeah, definitely is big. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, you think you're going to... You think you can lift that? I think I can get it. You get it to about right here and I can actually carry it up the steps. It'll take me a little bit of time. Now you can, you know you're up against, you got a little bit of room to come to me. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, it shifts in the drive. You can drive it? <laughs> yeah. Well, we got it in there, it's a thousand dollars, right? Oh, man. You owe me. <laughs> you drive careful now. You're okay. gonna, that'll be a challenge. Yep. Thank you guys a lot. Thank you. One hour drive and three people struggling like their lives depended on it, but we got it. Guys, we're talking about the holy grail of TVs right here, and she's taking up the whole passenger seat, let alone half That's the car. Huge, but guys, for a TV of this caliber right here, y'all know it's worth it. I got a lot of windy roads through the mountains to go, but I'll see you at home. Wish me luck. Trinitron! Look at this monstrosity of beauty. Seriously, 32 inch. If you check out the model number, this specific Trinitron color TV is worth a buttload. All the connections good and ready to go. Already broke off a piece from the bottom after I broke my spinal cord bringing it up the stairs. I swear these babies are sitting around 150, 200 pounds. Let's test it out. Hands are Dragoo. Not gonna lie, this looks amazing in person. Give it up for the Sony Trinitron, am I right? As sick as this is, it's a little bit too big for my Wii 2 bedroom apart. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop it up on Marketplace and see what we can trade. We got a lot of collectors in the area. The springs are home to some of the best. I'm gonna keep you updated, but in the meantime, we got some more deals to go. So let's get hot. Two games for Nintendo DS for 10 bucks. One of them is Fire Emblem. Take my money. But I asked if she had more stuff. I guess she had some PSP games she was looking to sell. Thirty dollars total. Two of them are sealed. I said forty bucks for the lot. Then she said deal. Hey, I got both of them in there. I don't know what it is with that one, but I have got people like messaging me like crazy. It's an there. expensive one. Had to jump on a good yeah, deal when I, I saw it. Oops. Hopefully that wasn't the one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I mean, I've got old Wii stuff, but I don't think my, like the original Wii, I yeah. think my kids are ready to part yeah, with it. Yeah, I, I totally understand. Thank you for this. Yeah, no problem. When they're ready to part with it, you want me to message you? Yeah, please. Okay. Okay. Will do. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm out here on the rocks because this $40 scoop up rocks. So as you can see, the PSP games are nothing to write home about. A couple sports titles, a video in there. But we did get Daxer, which is sick. And Final Fantasy Crisis Core, and it's sealed up. This bad boy is brand new. Now, unfortunately, it's torn up in a few spots. So it's still probably not worth that much money. And it's a greatest hit. Nevertheless, not too bad. The big hitter was Pokemon Platinum. And you guessed it, it's empty. But guys, it's okay. I knew it in advance. What I actually went to this deal for was Dragon Quest IV for the DS and the Grail of the Lot Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Now this cartridge alone pushes 50 to 100 bucks, so it should pay for the lot. After I messaged her, my girl was getting hit up left and right for that specific game, which makes sense because it's a big hitter. But it begs the question, can I find some more deals that rock? You betcha! Trinitron! Another free Trinitron TV hooked up on the marketplace. Head to his place now, wish me luck. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Cody? Yeah, Cody. Nice to meet you. Picking up a TV. Come on, it's right in here. Oh, yeah, that's massive. Yeah, it's probably like a couple hundred pounds. There we go. Whew. 
Whew -wee. You're gonna be able to get that out by yourself. Yeah, I got a bigger one out just like this and it worked out. Okay, thank you. Good luck, Cody. Thank you. We got another one, brothers. Sony Trinitron double take both for free on market. What? Again, this one's gonna be hard for me to get up the stairs all by myself, but I can do it. This one was heavy. It wasn't nearly as heavy as this big boy right here, but at least this one had some handles. Now, when I saw the photo of this bad boy right here, I did not know it was this big. This one is a 32 incher, and so is this one right here. Checking out the back, there's our model number, KB32S22, which is definitely a sought after one. I guarantee this bad boy will go hard. Popped in the NES and guys, she sounds and works fantastic. <laughs> So out of the two, which would you choose? The Trinitron flat screen silver or the classic Sony Trinitron black? Let me know down below. Guys, the time has come where we just received an offer on the Trinitron television set right here. And when you see the fruit that this TV will soon bear, you'll understand why it had me flying faster than a jackrabbit, hot footing it from a jaguar in the middle of the Sahara Desert. I'm gonna move my car, it's right here. I'm gonna move it so you can park it right here. Pretty heavy. It's really heavy, yeah. yeah it's really heavy. So here's the Silent Hill. Mm -hmm. Wow, really good condition. Oh, very, very good. It's nice. Yeah, it looks awesome, man. That should be 250. Okay. All right, thank you guys again for sure. And definitely let me know if you have any issues, okay? Oh, yeah. Thank you again. Well then, as fast as she came, we shared some good memories, but now, she's gone. Bubble gum fights on the third floor, comedy specials at eight, fishing rod in the quiet field. But we got something in its place and it might make you a bit happier than it made me. Silent Hill for the PS1. Beautiful condition Konami hit her. And guys, I'm telling you, I have not come across one in this minty condition. Awesome. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm getting at here. It may have been a bit of a journey to get the 32 inch wag up in this bedroom, but she was free and I already got 250 cash from the fella. What I'm trying to say is get away time. Just like before another the rare PS1 game is going to one of y'all. Silent Hill on the docket and you want to win it. Rules are simple. Comment down below one game that you recommend to your grandpa, your best friend, or even the angry neighbor next door. I want to hear some solid recommendations from the solid viewers of the channel. Let me know, but in the meantime, let's see if we can keep this hunt a-going. Great town, baby! A brother from another mother just shot me nothing but butter for a Series S trade. What's on the docket, you ask? Well, stay tuned to find out. Hey, Cody. Oh, hey. Yes. Hi. You got it all in the boxes here. Yeah, just need to take a quick look. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thanks, Yeah, and let me know if there's any issues, okay? Back at the headquarters with a trade that's got me flying over the moon. Nintendo Wii system, two controllers including the joystick, and one solid game, oh. Wii Sports. Oh, not bad. Already tested that bad boy in the system and she works great. Other side of the table, we got an Xbox 360 system right here. Now I tested this bad boy and it didn't work. It just didn't run discs, unfortunately. Nevertheless, strapped up with a hard drive that I can use for another system. Some PS4 games, nothing too special here. Here, a 
couple Call of Duties and Battlefield, but some solid Xbox games made it through. Fable 1, 2, and 3, solid games if you haven't played them yet, I recommend it. Eternal Sonata, Blue Dragon, The Last Remnant, and a pretty sick Halo 3 Xbox 360 hitter. Open her up, we got a little paperwork, and a fancy book to go with it. So that's actually pretty sick. A few PS3 games in this bundle, Heavy Rain, SSX, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, all bundled up nicely with this PS3 Slim. Now I popped this bad boy on right here and she's a 500 gig. If you didn't know the 500 gig PS3 Slim's worth a high penny. Again, this whole lot right here was acquired through a trade post on Facebook Marketplace for an Xbox Series S. I paid 185 bucks for that bad boy, so essentially this lot right here cost that yes. dollars. The PS2 games were definitely a highlight of this lot. Swing on in three. I just picked up this one recently, so that's sick to see again. Dot hack mutation. This is a photo. Guys, be on the lookout for anything dot hack. They got value to them. And this one is in absolute Beautiful. mint condition with the registration card in lock. Dot hack infection. That honestly looks like it has an infection what is itself. That? Missing the manual, though I'm not disappointed, except for this case needs a refresh. Much better. Always a good time coming across the dot hack. Again, lots of solid games in here. Grand Theft Auto 3, Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, Orphan, this Gia Hour of Darkness. But these next two are where the butter's made. Xenosaga Episode 2. Now, no, she isn't nearly as valuable as Xenosaga Episode 3, but toppling 50 bucks is good in my book. And Dragon Guard. Occasionally, I have come across this game, but I've never looked it up before now, and I was blind. Registration card, and guess what? The disc is minty fresh. Love. We're on a roll here. Resonance of Fate for the PS3 was bundled in this lot. And then we got some PS1 bangers. Metal Gear Solid VR Mission. Double Pack Final Fantasy Chronicles. Final Fantasy VIII Black Label. Dragon wow. Warrior 7. Guys, if you played this game before, comment down below. Let me know how it is. Fully complete with the manual in absolutely banging condition. Once again, we find Parasite E. Oh. I swear this bad boy just keeps popping up in my household and I couldn't be happier about that. But I know what y'all came here to see and that's this lollipop liquor right here. Lunar Silver Star. Star story complete, baby. Even if you didn't know video games, you would know to pick this bad boy up quickly. The edge is a little bit rough shape, yes, I'll admit. But inside is a different story. A silver star story to be exact. Another fancy booklet in this bundle. And we got the discs intact. Yes. Disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four. And when you find Lunar Silver Story, you always want to make sure the map is included. A grail piece. Guys, let me know know if you need this bad boy in your collection but we're not done yet we got metal gear solid the twin snakes. snakes really hard game to find now unfortunately there was no manual included. but on the bright side the discs oh, look oh. nice and minty fresh yes. now i've already scooped up this bad boy so she's a double for me which makes me doubly happy brother this is what video game hunting's about Guys, thanks again for tuning into this week's Hunt Adventures. There's more to come, I promise you that.